I'm doing one of my favorite activities in class today, which is called the timeline of life. Now, I first created this activity back about seven or eight years ago, and every single year I try to tweak it a little bit to make it better. This year I have two different versions, an AP bio and a regular biology version. In both of these versions, I have timeline cards for different events in life history. What the students have to do is they have to organize the cards from first to last. Obviously, first life appearing will be the first card and the last being our species evolving. For my AP biology class, there's about 40 of these life event cards. I also give them the mass extinction cards to help organize where different events occur. I also give them the place of these mass extinctions just to help them out. When they're done, it should look something like this. For my bio students, I have a different organizer that's very similar. However, each card has a description of what that organism is. This obviously helps them organize the cards from the oldest thing to happen to the most recent thing that happens. Now, one of the reasons I obviously love this lesson is because it looks at life history and I love paleontology. But I also love how this lesson forces the students to kind of argue with each other scientifically and to support their claims with evidence, specifically on why certain things may have evolved earlier or later based on what they know about life history. Now, after they have these timeline cards in order from oldest to youngest, I go over the correct answers and it blows their mind. Things like sharks are older than trees or like grass that evolved more recently compared with very long ago. If you would like these, I'm going to post both of these on my Teacher Pay Teachers for free.